everything about Grunt is a lie. You. You dare. <laughs> I like this human. He understands. The Krogan are in Mass Effect Andromeda, which immediately raises the question of the Genophage, one of the big moral dilemmas of the original trilogy. And uh, apparently that's been solved. That's been dealt with. It's a non-issue at this point. Or at the very least, Bioware solved it in a way that many people that wrote fan fiction apparently viewed it in the sense that the way they, they handled the genophage is uh, that a partial uh, solution not the complete one not the complete reversal because the birth rates would be too high but a partial reversal um, on top of that the Krogan clan in present in Mass Effect Andromeda and his clan Nakmore who show up in Mass Effect 2 and I'll show footage of Mass Effect 2 just so I remind people what they're about and finally, there is the question of the Corians, the Volus, the Hanar, all that. Apparently, they're all going to be coming together in the Corian arc in Mass Effect Andromeda. So, without further ado, let me play through the dialogue that's in Mass Effect Andromeda so far from what I've played on these issues. I do want to point out that the main Krogan character that you initially meet is Nakmor Kesh, who is Drax granddaughter, Drac being one of your squad members. It should also be pointed out that she's apparently planning a coup uh, on the Nexus against Director Fan, who is the person in charge of the Nexus when you arrive, who was the eighth in line and is an accountant. What, what more could he ask? Political drama, right? The Kro a Krogan engineer uh, aiming to overthrow uh, the director of the initiative, the only one with any kind of real authority right now on the Nexus. I imagine that that drama will come to a head at one point or another. I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. I'm Nakmor Kesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal. But now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Welcome to the Nexus. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm, hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance Ma to Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. There you are. Hope the others haven't been giving you a hard time. There's a lot that needs doing. At least with the Hyperion hooked up and feeding us power, my team and I can get more work done. I notice there aren't a lot of Krogan around. You haven't spoken to Number 8 yet, have you? Number 8? Tan. Ask him why most of my people left. He'll have opinions. I can tell you this much. When the mutiny happened, a deal was made. My clan were supposed to settle matters and in return, get more say in the initiative. Why do you call Tan eight? Because he was eighth in line to take over the Andromeda initiative. I like to remind him of that now and then. Keep him humble. Did the deal go through? The clan held up their part, but Tan had a meltdown when he found out we wanted more say around here. Then Addison's assistant, Spender, pretended he never made the deal in the first place. It was a mess, but I don't blame my people for walking out. We're done being used. With your clan gone, why did you stay? It's complicated. 
The station and my clan both need me here. When we left the Milky Way, the Krogan were still dealing with the Genophage. Right. The Genophage. A little gift to our people from the Solarians thousands of years ago. That sterility virus they infected us with left most of our children stillborn. Only one in a thousand survive. No wonder your people have such a problem with Solarians. Some wounds never heal. Not that my ancestors didn't provoke it. They did try to conquer the galaxy. The Solarians were forced to respond. And it's not fair to blame it all on them, either. The Solarians developed the virus, but it was the Turians who deployed it. I'm hoping that's all in the past. Plenty of blame to go around, but Andromeda is about new beginnings. My people need that more than most. What about the Krogan here in Andromeda? There's no cure for it. But my clan was starting to show a mutation against the virus. A natural defense. During the trip to get here, Krogan underwent gene therapies to enhance the mutation while we were in stasis. So you used those 600 years to your advantage. Gave the adaptation more time to develop. Yeah. It's still early, but I think we made a dent. Our scientists say we've improved viability to almost 4%, which is a lot better than what we had. Beyond all the statistics, it means more Krogan children will live. It's the only way my people have a future out here. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this whelp of a Krogan makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. If your guards are looking for a fight, then we can oblige. This will be interesting. They haven't had a human in their sights in some time. Of course. If they draw their weapons, the Erdnaut warriors will be on them in seconds. Assuming they survive what I do to them. <sighs> Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. I am the ambassador to Erdnaut from Clan Nakmore. We're a small clan based in the Kranic Wastes. If Nakmore is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmor Krall, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. What business does Clan Nakmor have with the Erdnaut? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmor have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnaut could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved? Their muscle. Nothing more. Good for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Why don't you like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Long ago, they waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the Initiative can never be fulfilled. Are there any other arcs we should expect? We had hoped Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, Hanar, and other species as well. 
Managing all of their biological needs cause complications. We won't see them for some time to come. It's a circus. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. 